Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Trevor. I'm with Overlanding North America and also Adventure Built YouTube. This is our Recon R2 Elite. And we also have the Icon E2 next door. And yeah, so this model sleeps four. The dinette here turns into a uh, bunk. And then we have the drop down bunk right here. And as you can see, good amount for a kid sleeping an adult probably a little tight tons of windows in here really good ventilation and then we also have a uh, sirocco fan that keeps the air moving a lot of light the light system in here is actually really trick it has three different settings it has white blue and then it has a night light feature so that way you can leave it on all night it's not drawing a whole lot of power but if you have to get up to go to the bathroom in the morning you don't have to turn on any lights wake up everybody else in the trailer so here we got the white and then blue and then uh, so you can't see it but that is actually in the nightlight feature you can't even see the light in the daytime but yeah that's yeah, pretty cool how much weight does the bunk hold it's a very good question probably a lot uh because it's actually all aluminum framed and everything it's not like a sheet metal or anything so it's actually has a real frame uh my 10 year old is already 120 pounds so he sleeps up here no problem <laughs> and then uh my youngest actually sleeps down here the bottom bunk's a little longer but my oldest likes to sleep up top so <laughs> what, how long is it he's over five foot already so yeah the dinette's a, a little bit longer it's about four inches longer the nice thing is the recon series you get really plush seating um actual leather so it's a really high quality this is our flagship model we have an optioned out stainless sink in here so uh, that way we can wash hands, get cleaned up, brush teeth and everything right before bed. There's tons of storage. There's a storage cabinet here. Underneath both benches is storage. We have three big drawers here, four smaller drawers here. And then to get up because, um, you know, we can, we can just step on the seat and hop up. But other people who may not be able to do that, there's actually a built-in built in step to get into the bunk. So the attention to detail on these trailers is amazing. Uh, the build quality is really good. Um, they really thought of everything. This is probably my second favorite thing about these trailers. This is a full-size queen mattress. You can see the thickness on it. It's very comfortable. I'm used to sleeping on a Tempur-Pedic at home, but this thing is just as comfortable as my Tempur-Pedic. And like I said, it's a real full-size queen. You don't have to have like special RV queen sheets or anything. You can pick them up wherever. Uh, there's tons of space up here uh we there's actually power ports on the end so you can have your phones tablets charging everything there's also cubbies and a shelf on the side so you can put all your little things and everything over here uh we actually because it has a white interior we have a little portable projector and uh we'll watch movies in here at night so we'll just project it right on the white walls and everything so it's it's a really cool family camper it's a real it's just a really cool camper in general yeah and i guess uh we'll go check out the uh, outside this is my first like my my number one love of this trailer is the kitchen it's literally two two latches and open it up and you're ready to go so it has a three burner dometic stove and a stainless sink on there tons and tons of storage we can outfit this thing out for like three four weeks of dry goods fridge and i'll show you that in a minute um and it's just so organized like you can see we have these bins we have all of our uh pots pans everything in there really organized and then we also have like cutlery drawers online spice rack Amazon. I mean, it really has everything that your home kitchen has, just compact. It even has storage up top. Keep our first aid kit and other things over here. So, I mean, it's 
tons and tons of room in this thing. Um, and because of the garage storage on the other side, we actually keep like two folding tables that we can eat on and everything. So there is no compromise of space. You get everything, including the kitchen sink. So this is the spot for the fridge. We'll lock that in because of the wind. So this fits up to a uh, Dometic 95 dual zone, 100 single. Um, we've got a 75 dual zone just because we've already had that. But I mean, it's just tons of space. There is no support under it because the slide is that strong to be able to hold such a big fridge with loaded up with all the food. It's really cool. Also on the inside here, you can see uh, the Truma Combi. Um, it has a uh, hot water heater and also our space heater in there. And you can also see how it's all kind of uh, finished out. It has a really nice finish. There's, I mean, again, attention to detail. As you can see, it has the awning out. Uh, the awning is a really nice, it's a Fiamma awning based out of Italy, but this thing isn't flapping at all and you guys can probably hear the wind and and everything going on around me but it's uh really nice that goes up with the hydraulic opening of the uh actuators um on the roof so extremely easy fast setup so when it comes to off-road ability the cruise master do 35 hitch is really to me the best one out there we've had every other kind of hitch on other trailers and this is my favorite it's the fastest connection disconnection and everything else the do 35 hitch is just phenomenal full articulation i mean really the standard when it comes to uh off-road articulating hitches also fully boxed frame on the trailer it's beefy i mean that's that's the best i could say it's beefy this thing is made to handle the Australian outback conditions, washboard roads, uh, rock crawling, all the stuff that the Aussies do. Uh, now we're doing it too now. So it has the uh, ARC uh, 750 uh, hitch on this thing. This thing is amazing. It's crazy that nobody, nobody talks about these things that much, but really incredible jockey wheels. You also have a uh, Anderson connection that you can hook onto uh, an Anderson connector onto the back of your vehicle and pull directly on this because uh, all of our trailers come standard with a uh, Red Arc Manager 30. And that way you can top off from our solar. We've got 275 watt panels on the Recon Series. Icon Series has 175 watt panel. You can also top it off from the vehicle while you're traveling. And then we have two uh, 10 pound propane canisters in the front. Uh, padded front so rocks, sticks, everything else while you're off-roading, all the branches can get out of the way and you don't have to worry about denting the front of your trailer. Tons of storage, it has a pass-through. We actually have an anti-flap kit if we want to put up the walls and everything and completely enclose the annex. And then we have storage containers on both sides. As we keep our propane uh, fire pit and everything in there and it's, it's just really awesome. All right, moving to the back. So I affectionately call this the garage because it's huge. This is, you know, we keep our tables, our chairs, all of our extra camp gear. You know, if there's no fire restrictions, we love to cook on cast iron in the fire pit. So I've got a big box of heavy cast iron pots and pans. Go back here as well. This is also the utility uh, closet. So our electrical is right here. You can see the Red Arc Manager 30, all the fuses. I don't have an inverter on this only because uh, I don't really use a lot of 120 power. It's uh, not as efficient. However, Victron just came out with some new inverters and Red Arc is coming out with new inverters. So I'm really interested to see how efficient those are, but we'll see because uh, my wife cooks with an Instapot. Those things are awesome for camping. Like really good. And this is also where all of our battery and water tanks are. So here we just have the two standard um, tanks. We have just shy of 50 gallons of water in here, but there's room for a third. So you could have up almost 75 gallons of water in here. Uh, we've got a 120 amp hour lithium battery standard. And as you can see, there's room for more as well. And that's kind of it for utility. 
Right here we have the outdoor shower. This is plumbed into the uh, hot water heater. So right away you have a uh, hot shower on demand, that's standard. And uh, the ensuite hangs in the back. This is our uh, dust suppression system. This is what really separates uh, lifestyle campers from all other campers is their dust suppression system. Maybe a couple other like Bruder has, has a dust suppression system, but really, all this is is a fan that sucks in air from the outside through a filtration system and then pressurizes the internal because no matter how good your seals are, when you're going washboard roads, off-road and everything, all the dust and conditions, any movement you have in the seals, air is gonna get sucked in there. What this does creates a positive pressure, blows air out of the seals. So, I mean, we're in Arizona, like on some really dirty, dirty roads and our trailer is completely clean when we set up for camp every time. Standard with a uh, spare tire that matches the rest of it. It's a full size spare. We've optioned out for a drop down. So this thing will actually drop down. So it's only right here. So you're not picking up a 110 power tire that, you know, five feet up and dropping it. Um, this is also the mount for the optional exterior ensuite, which is really good. I got it. I got it removed so nobody clonks their head on it accidentally right now. And then we have the optional firebox. The firebox is one of my favorite options just because it's a great thing for not just firewood, but for your trash. And then also the, like if the kids, you know, go swimming in a lake or something, we can throw all their wet swimsuits and towels and everything without having to get everything else wet. The Recon Series comes with a uh, Cruise Master suspension. It's an independent coil suspension standard. Uh, we've upgraded this one to the uh, airbag suspension, which is a really, really trick suspension. Um, it makes leveling out when we get to a campsite really quick. We have uh, control left and right uh, to be able to just raise and lower uh, the left and right. Um, and then after, like when you're not off-roading, if you need to get it in your garage, you can actually drop it down four inches to get it in a standard height garage so you don't have to have a crazy garage. But then your only restriction at that point is the length. Um, I've got an old carport so I can get it in the garage, but it's too long to close the door. Okay, so the length on this is uh, 19 feet standard, uh, but we have the optional uh, extended tongue, um, which makes a good for a tighter turn radius. So that's another foot. So this is 20 feet altogether. It's 6.4 inches wide, seven foot height when it's in the closed, nine foot seven open, and then 3,638 pounds dry weight. But as soon as you fill those two water tanks, that's 400 pounds. So you're just under 4,000 pounds. Also in the back real quick, because this has the airbag option, it actually has an air fitting on the back. So you can actually air up your tires. It has an aluminum air tank as well. So power tools, everything else are just fine. Um, it has an Anderson connector in the back as well. So if you want to uh, have a remote solar panel, um, I've got an Ironman 4x4 solar panel that I can remote out. So that way I can park the trailer in the shade. It stays nice and cool but I can still get my power and everything if the solar panels are covered up. It has recovery points uh, on both models. So, and we've used them because we've already got this thing hung up on a rock because we are kind of pushing the limits on it a little bit. Full LED lighting all the way around. So if you want more information on lifestyle campers, you can reach out to overlandingnorthamerica.com. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, overlandingnorthamerica. And yeah, that's about it. And also if you wanna check our, our travels and adventures, you can check us out on Adventure Built YouTube.